Hi, I'm Michelle Cromer. This is your Modern Feng Shui Goddess Tip and Question of the Week. Michelle, I'm confused on something. I had two Feng Shui consultations, and they were both so different. Each of their perceptions seemed to be so opposite. What do I do? Thanks so much for your videos. I hear this a lot. People come into a home or office, and they actually Feng Shui in a different way. Perception. German philosopher Immanuel Kant said that perception is our own set of lenses through which we see the world. So since no two lenses are the same, no two perceptions can be the same of your home or your office. But you have intuition. So really think about what your intuition is telling you. However, your perception could change if something else rings true. For example, let me give you a, a story that happened to me. My grandparents had a ranch in West Texas, and they, it was a very small little town that they were associated with, and they went to this little church. And so I went out to see them, and every Sunday I would go to church, and then we would have lunch with Mr. Tommy. He was a single older man that worked for the electric company. So he would come over, and he would tell us about his dreams of going to all, selling his home, retiring, buying an RV, and go to all the national parks. Well, one Sunday when I was visiting, I noticed that Mr. Tommy was sitting next to a woman. So I said to my grandfather, what's going on? And he said, Mr. Tommy's in love. Well, sure enough, they got married. But what no one knew is that his new wife was, was swindling all this money for the company that she was a secretary for, for an oil company. So she got caught, $100,000. So instead of going to jail, Mr. Tommy went to the CEO who also went to the church and said, please, let me just pay back every dime. He agreed. So Mr. Tommy sold the RV, went back to the electric company and worked and worked and worked for a year and a half. But what no one knew is that Mr. Tommy had cancer, but he refused treatment because he wanted to work. A year and a half later, he died. So I went to the funeral and I saw afterwards standing in that cold January parking lot, bright sun, um, that Mr. Tommy's wife was shaking the hands of the CEO. And I said to my grandfather, what's going on? And my grandfather said, because of Mr. Tommy's diligence of paying back the debt, the rest of it is forgiven. And I was furious, like, are you kidding me? That hag gets off scot-free, Mr. Tommy died. Well, I, this is just horrible, he never got to see a, a park or anything. And my grandfather spun around blocking the sun and said, Michelle, Mr. Tommy never felt it was a sacrifice because he loved that woman. And my hope is that you find someone that you love enough that you would do the same thing. But my bigger hope is that kind of person finds you. It's all a matter of perception, everything that happens. So you have to trust yourself, but be open to someone else bringing some more information and another perception. Thanks so much. Ask me questions at michelle at michellecromer.com.